Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we create, we are recreating the Sims 3 families from Twinbrook and their families in or in their houses. Oh my gosh, wow, butchered. <laughs> butchered that intro. Anyways, we're recreating them in The Sims 4. <laughs> so today, we are recreating the Greenwood family from Twinbrook. And I think this is a precious family. I did play with them a lot. And I think I've said this a million times. I played with this family a lot, but I kid you not. In The Sims 3, I didn't like to create Sims or build houses. I just hopped around the townies. So I'm familiar with all these townies, which is why it's so much fun for me to get on here and recreate them. But anyways, the Greenwood family consists of Oliver Greenwood, his wife Holly Greenwood, and his two dollar dollars, <laughs> his two dollars, his two daughters Jade and Emerald Greenwood. So, their family biography states, Since the birth of their first child, Jade, Oliver and Holly have tried to raise their family in the greenest and most carbon-neutral way possible, from eating sustainably, sustainably, there you go, to riding bikes instead of taking cars. Jade and Emerald have looked up to their parents' way of doing things. However, the day will come when the kids find themselves picked on at school for their eco-friendly lifestyle. What will they do then? So, yeah, this family is kind of like the eco-friendly family. And in The Sims 3, you know, we was able to recycle. And you could obviously ride bikes around if you didn't have a car. So, they didn't believe in taking cars. They all had bikes, <laughs> which... Whew, I can't even, like, imagine, especially from where I'm at, taking a bike everywhere I have to go. Like, heck no. Like, it would take me years uh, in this heat. I would die. But anyways, yeah, they're very eco-friendly. They're all, like, vegetarians. Um, he works in the garden. Oliver does. Kind of grows all their food. So, they have, like, a really cool family dynamic. But anyways, a little bit about the dad, who his name is Oliver. His biography states that Oliver has no shame in being the local grocery store clerk. He's held that position since he was just a teen and everyone in the community likes him. Will he be able to continue raising his children on a part-time job's wages? So, he obviously is in a part-time career, which we had in The Sims 3. Unfortunately, we don't have in The Sims 4 for adults, which just is a whole nother rant in itself. But anyways, he is a produce quality accessor. So, he does work in the grocery store. And I do imagine, like, that he works in the garden and takes, you know, his gardening and everything and kind of sells it at the grocery store and they kind of live off of that too but apparently um you know it's not a lot of money and as you'll see they have a pretty nice house and you know when you have two girls two daughters i mean girls are expensive you know what i'm saying but anyways his personality he is vegetarian eco-friendly hopeless romantic a green thumb and frugal his lifetime wish was to have the perfect garden and yeah that's a little bit about Oliver moving on to his wife Holly so Holly's biography states Holly's promise in political career is just beginning and her whole family is there to support her will the trials and tribulations of the came oh my gosh I can't read I'm like pregnant out of breath <laughs> will the trials and tribulations of the campaign trail wear her down or will she preserve to preserve or will she preserve I okay I know that I can't read very good but like I'm I zoomed in this says or will she preserve to political fortune I think what they meant to say was persevere but they didn't spell it right. So we're just going to say, will she persevere to political fortune? So anyways, Miss Holly is a little bit more of the money maker in the family. She is in the politics career. She's a city council member. So we do have the politics career, obviously, in The Sims 4 if you have a city living. So if you don't love this family, she will be, I think it's like a um, council member. It might be council member or representative or something, but I did give her a promotion to match what her career was in The Sims 3. But her traits are loves the outdoors, good, vegetarian, eco-friendly, green thumb, and her lifetime wish is to be the leader of the free world. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to, like, breathe. <laughs> whew, I feel like I've been doing voiceovers all day. And, whew, I'm, like, out of breath, you know. Like, baby pressing up on my lungs, shortness of breath. But, anyways, we're, we're making it. Just bear with me. So, anyways, moving on to Jade. Which, we're already on the speed bill part. But, you know, we gotta get, we still gotta talk about Jade and Emerald. But, you know what? It's okay. Because it's a pretty nice lengthy speed build so you know what let's just talk as much as we can okay so their daughter jade who i think is so pretty she's a teenager and her biography states jade loves sports and hopes to maybe someday become a professional athlete but she loathes her parents choice to abstain from using cars riding a bike is so out of style right now and her personality is she's clumsy, handy, athletic, and lucky. And she's actually the only one in the family who does not have the vegetarian trait. <clears throat> so, like their family biography stated, um, growing up, the girls kind of liked how their parents raised them. But the older they get, they're kind of like, okay, this is kind of ridiculous. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, and they're kind of conscious of how people are you know thinking of them kind of like making fun of her for riding her bike around town you know her dad works at the grocery store you know they're just like these recyclers like <laughs> eco-friendly and uh she's probably getting picked on a little bit at school whereas her sister emerald her biography states Little does Emerald know of all the great things her parents are doing for her future. Their focus on sustainability and healthy eating will no doubt propel her into a great lifestyle, despite the potential negative reputation issues she may face in school. So, I feel like little Emerald is kind of getting a little bit more aware. Kind of, she's almost where Jade feels. She's kind of seeing where Jade's coming from. Where I believe that when Jade was a child like Emerald, she was a vegetarian too. Because Emerald, her traits is she's brave, a vegetarian, and a computer whiz. So she's still a vegetarian. And I kind of believe that Jade at one point was probably a vegetarian too. But since she is a teenager and she's in high school, I'm sure she's kind of realized, okay, this is a little bit ridiculous. And she kind of ended up addition or getting rid of getting out of that vegetarian lifestyle and i think emeralds at that point where she's seeing where her sister's coming from she's starting to kind of like face the ridicule from it at school herself um so i don't know i don't know if she'll end up being like her sister and kind of going her separate way from that lifestyle or just really following in her foot her parents footsteps i don't know i guess it all just depends on how you want to play out their story in their life but anyways, I do think that this family has like a fun little backstory, family dynamic that you can have a lot of fun with if you wanted to download them and play with them in The Sims 4. So moving on to the speed part of the speed part, like what? <laughs> the speed build part, the building of this house. Their house <clears throat> is actually in a neighborhood that we haven't done before in this series. And I have mentioned it the past two videos from Twinbrook that we recreate. There are different neighborhoods with different style houses. Whereas in Sunset Valley, it was just kind of, you know, a mixture of different houses. There wasn't necessarily like neighborhoods with different styles. Um, so this one is more fits in kind of with like Willow Creek or Newcrest. They're kind of like Victorian style houses, kind of like very suburban-y looking. Um, but I love how their house turned out in The Sims 4, recreating it. I think it is so pretty. It fits in absolutely perfectly with Willow Creek because we know that Willow Creek is kind of inspired off of like New Orleans Creole style houses. And that's the definition of their house. It just looks so freaking pretty i love it i love the balcony i love the porch and i did give them a little bit different landscaping than what they had in the sims 3 i tend to do that just kind of just to dress the house up the only thing that i really keep the same or try to is the floor plan <clears throat> so 
for their landscaping I made sure it was very very kind of like lush and overgrown um, because I imagine that this house is obviously a little bit of an older style house or older house in general like it was built a while ago <laughs> and so I really liked how I used the yellow plants or the yellow flowers I think it looks really nice up against the brown and the white but anyways their backyard is kind of small and it looks very similar to their backyard in the sims 3 so they don't have like a huge backyard with a lot of activities you know for the kids and the girls to you know have fun in the backyard but the majority of their backyard is a garden because Oliver likes the garden and I do believe that Holly's into it too but not as much as Oliver because we do know that in The Sims 3 he was um, <clears throat> part time at the grocery store and I do imagine like I said earlier that he kind of like gardens in his spare time at home and kind of sells you know the fruits and vegetables and everything at the grocery store and obviously they kind of eat fresh out of their garden too so I think it turned out really really nice I did go into debug and pull out some of the trees which you have to go into the game and water them in order for them to like sprout and grow but I think it's the cherry tree that for some reason you didn't have to water it it just kind of like it was there so I put two cherry trees down and then the other trees you have to go in and actually like water them and plant them if you download this house and then I just gave them some more like planter boxes over there and you can pick you know whatever plant you want but yes their backyard is very quaint very cute I just gave them a little picnic table area <clears throat> and a grill so they can you know kind of hang out out there I did give them two trash cans um, and I changed the color of one of them to kind of mimic like okay one's for trash and one is for recyclables because in the Sims 3 you was able to recycle stuff and you had the recyclable trash cans or recyclable bins but we don't have that in the Sims 4 and they're supposedly like very eco-friendly and into recycling so yeah, I kind of tried to, you know, give that illusion. Not really sure how well I did there, but hey, it works for me. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> I'm just adding some lighting to the house. But yes, I just think this house is really, really pretty. I love the way it turned out. And the floor plan of this house, y'all, when you get in, you'll see I love the downstairs. I love how it turned out. It's perfect. It's cute. I'm like bragging on myself. I do this all the time, but like I'm proud of how my builds turn out sometimes, okay? <laughs> so just let me brag, okay? But anyways, <laughs> upstairs is where I was kind of like, why? <laughs> because this is a big house. It's so obviously you could you could fit more than two bedrooms in this house but since I do try to copy the floor plan as much as I can in the Sims 3 I did keep it two bedrooms I was very 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 close to changing the floor plan upstairs and making it three bedrooms because the bedrooms are kind of big which for the girls sharing a room it wasn't hard at all to furnish their room but the master bedroom was so big it, it was just kind of like okay this is too big I don't even know what to what am I going to put in this room to fill it up so I definitely could have added a third bedroom and gave the girls separate bedrooms but I, I like the idea of them sharing a room too and also I don't know maybe you guys aren't familiar with these style houses but I live very close to New Orleans and even downtown where I live we have houses kind of like this that are not okay well they're older houses and I'm sure most of your downtown areas you you have neighborhoods where there are a lot of like older houses and if you've ever been in those older houses sometimes the floor plans are are big like that it's big houses and the rooms are just massive <laughs> so it kind of makes sense that this house is obviously an older house obviously they've remodeled it and made it look super duper nice but you know at one point it it's been here a while it's a pretty old house it's kind of like a historical building per se so I think it makes a little bit of sense for you know the girls to have a room shared and there only be two bedrooms there is 
three bathrooms. There's a bathroom downstairs, and there is an ensuite bathroom to the master and a bathroom upstairs for the girls to share. So, anyways, moving on to the interior. This house was fairly easy to furnish just because the houses in this series tend to be easy just because you know the family. I say this all the time, every video. You know the family that you're furnishing it for. You know their careers, their personality, and it's just a lot easier to kind of have, you know, this style in your head of how they would furnish the house. Obviously, I tried to give it like a little glow over and glow up from the Sims 3 floor plan and or decorations, not necessarily the floor plan, but <clears throat> anyways, I did imagine that this house would be very, very, um, like, co it's, it's, mm, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, it's cozy looking. It's very pretty, but at the same time, it's, it just matches the aesthetic of this style house so nicely with like the fireplace and the white and the wallpaper and the archways. It's just so pretty and I put that grand piano, t uh, piano right here in the corner. And I actually ended up putting a dresser drawer down here for like, you know, storage. Which I've, I honestly don't think I have ever done in a speed build. I've seen it done before, but like I've never thought to do it because to me it's like a, a Chester drawer, a chest of drawers. My bad. In the south we call it Chester drawers, <laughs> but anyways, it, it's it's furniture for the bedroom, but not true. You can't even tell that's a Chester drawer unless you click on it and you know you see where it says change outfit but <laughs> you know we're just using it for decoration down here and I think it turned out really nice and I did change that rug because I just wasn't feeling it but anyways I think that their living room area is so nice. I put that pretty clock there in the corner and then I did give them a um chest table here just to kind of take up space but <clears throat> yeah I do think that Holly uh, decorated the house very nicely and since she is into politics I do imagine that she probably has a lot of guests a lot of co-workers she probably hosts a lot of dinners here at her house so I think that their house is always pretty clean and that was kind of what I was going for I wanted it to kind of um I didn't want it to look too like cluttered or anything like that it just didn't really make sense for this family but anyways here in the entryway I just gave them like a little coat rack and the umbrella little holder thing a lamp and then I put a chair right here but I'm realizing I should have put a picture or something <laughs> over the chair because it's kind of bothering me that I didn't uh but yeah oops <laughs> I might add one I might add one before I upload it to the gallery We'll see, but anyways, here I am adding the little plant on the little stool here, which is like one of my favorite decoration things to do ever. I think it is so cute, but anyways, I do put like a little table right here, and I was going to clutter it up, but like I said, I just didn't imagine it being a very cluttered house, and honestly, I get so bored. I get so freaking bored of the same clutter items. It gets so old i that's the main reason i hate to do entryways and i hate to do hallway landings anything where i have to use like a table like this because i feel like i use the same clutter objects on it every time i just want some more clutter that's not cc i'm telling you i would be down for a clutter stuff pack ea hit hit your girl up with a clutter stuff pack i'm sure you know a lot of builders would appreciate it as well but <clears throat> anyways moving on to the kitchen right here as previously mentioned twin brooke actually brought laundry to the sims 3 so thankfully most of these houses already have a laundry room somewhere in the house so i don't have to change the floor plan like i did in the sunset valleys to add laundry in and i really liked how theirs was part of their kitchen over in that little corner area i think it turned out so cute so yes that is where their laundry room is which you know 
you could if you wanted to maybe like put it where the bathroom is but then there wouldn't be a bathroom downstairs but I think it looks nice there in the kitchen I love the island and I love how I cluttered it up I did add some like extra lights <laughs> because it was kind of dark um, but anyways I'm rambling it's really hard to talk about the build and why I chose to do certain stuff I don't know how people do it I try because I know there's so many mixed opinions on some people are like I want to hear about the build I want to know why you chose what you chose and why you picked that and what was your inspiration behind it and then some people are like nah it's cool just talk to me <laughs> so I try to do both um, but like for example my favorite builder ever like my biggest inspiration for building is Dawn aka Simlessly here on YouTube and she does that like she does it so well though because some people that talk about the build the whole time I can't even listen to it because I get bored I want to hear like some personality and some talking but she explains herself and her builds so well I can't I don't even know how she does it but I don't get bored I just I adore her I really do adore her and her builds but anyways I can't do it <laughs> I try so I'm a little bit of a mixture so once again, I haven't really had anybody complain about my voiceovers yet. Nobody's really said, okay, shut up with the rambling. <laughs> um, or, okay, you're boring me. But if you have any kind of feedback of what you prefer, let me know down below. I do want to hear your opinion, even though I'm probably going to still do what I want to do anyways. And I don't mean that in a rude way. It's just, if I'm doing these voiceovers and I got to get through it, I got to do it the easiest way for me to do it myself <laughs> because if I was to sit here and try to tell you all about this build and how I did this it would be torture for you guys to listen to and sometimes you know my life is just not entertaining enough to tell stories like Kayla little Simsy she's always ranting and raving and always has like a good story time and her speed builds are so entertaining because of it I just like I don't have that exciting of a life honestly <laughs> um but anyways here we are in the dining room which I think turned out super cute too see that's about it that's all I have <laughs> to explain the dining room just watch and see what I do um but I guess we can like ramble oh I'm well I'm not gonna ramble but I'm just I want to talk to you guys so can we just pretend that we're friends which y'all are my friends I might not be your friend but I consider y'all my friends I mean I, I get on here and like talk to y'all and it's like talking to myself <laughs> so y'all are considered my friends but anyways so it is June and guess what that means for me well it means a lot of things it means you know we got some expansion packs EA play all kinds of exciting stuff for the sims but for me it means baby shower time and I don't know about you guys but <laughs> I love to open presents. <laughs> I've been like that since I was a kid. Um, but I haven't opened presents really since uh, since I was a kid. <laughs> uh, like for birthday parties and stuff. You know, that ended back in elementary, middle school. Whatever age it was that my mom and dad stopped throwing me birthday parties, I didn't get all the presents. Because, you know, we didn't invite all of our family like at a certain age or at least like my family or down here it's very common the older you get you just eventually once you get a teenager you just start going out to eat you know with your friends and every now and then you'll have a nice friend buy you a present for you to unwrap and my mom and dad will buy me like one thing um but sometimes they won't even wrap it. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I want to open presents. I want to relive my childhood. So you're always looking forward to Christmas. And then the older you get with Christmas, the less presents you have. To where the point you get an adult and start college, I stop getting presents. <laughs> Which you're probably like, your mom doesn't give you Christmas presents anymore. No, my mom still gives me Christmas presents. But it's like two things. And, you know, the older you get, the more expensive you get. But, you know, I'm grown, you know. I... Uh, I don't expect a lot I mean I work and make my own money they do get me presents and something for my birthday and something for Christmas but 
anyways, it's not the same. I don't get to open presents. So, this baby shower is for me too. Okay, it's for my baby. But, I'm using this stuff on my baby. And I pick this stuff out. I put it on my registry. I'm so excited to open presents. It's going to be like Christmas and a birthday present for myself. But it's for my baby. Which makes it even more exciting. So, yes, I'm very excited. I have two baby showers coming up. I have one at the end of June. And one in July. <laughs> my last one. Um, I have, I'm having two because his family's throwing me one. And then my family's throwing me one. Oh, my family is doing theirs so last minute. It's two weeks before I'm due, y'all. So, I'm hoping that little dude doesn't come early. Um, because he might not have his second baby shower. But, I'm hoping... I don't, I don't think that'll be a problem. I think most people kind of carry over. Well, you know, just like statistically what my doctor told me is that, you know, I'm probably going to carry over it as my first baby. So, we'll see. But anyways, I'm excited about June. It's an exciting month. So, yeah, that's me kind of like um, rambling about myself, which, see, my life's not entertaining enough. So, it's like... I don't have any cool stories for you guys. I'm just excited about life, excited about my baby. We got the nursery set up. Oh, if you do not follow me on Snapchat, <clears throat> go do that or my Instagram because my Instagram is actually my personal Instagram. It's not my Sims Instagram. I do have a Sims Instagram. And if you go to my older videos, you'll see my older Instagram in the description, but I decided to start sharing my personal, just so you guys can, you know, see a little bit more about me and my life, because I never uploaded to the Sims one, I just always uploaded to my personal, so if you don't follow me there, and you want to like, kind of keep up with me, and my personal life, and the baby, and everything, go follow me on my personal Instagram, that's down below. And also, go follow me on Snapchat if you want to see updates of the nursery as we continue to add to it. Ah, it's been so much fun. I'm so excited. The nursery is like almost ready. and We just got to start adding stuff from the baby shower. And ah, the excitement is real. But anyways, that's enough about that. Y'all get sick of hearing me talk about like my baby and pregnancy. But like that's been my life the past eight months. I can't help it. <laughs> and it's like the baby's going to be my life for the rest of my life. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving back on to the actual build here. I guess I can talk about it since we're upstairs. And earlier I did talk about how the floor plan only had the two bedrooms. But the master bedroom was so big that it was overwhelming. I <clears throat> did not like how it was going at first. I ended up, usually when I do these builds for this series, I have so much fun and it's usually so easy for me. I just flow right through it real fast. <sighs> but when I got up here, it was just too much. Too much space and I just wasn't digging it. Didn't like how it was turning out. So, I actually ended up scrapping it and having to come back and start it like a day or two later. Just because I was overwhelmed with how big this room is. Which is not that big, but I was... Ugh, it's like I don't like too much. It just looks too busy sometimes. So I did give them the fireplace like they had in The Sims 3 in their room. So I put those chairs there. And then I did give her a desk area since she is in the political career. Political career. <laughs> there you go. I imagine that obviously she would work from home a little bit. And I gave her the little politician stands that she can practice her speeches but for the most part I just you know try to clutter their room up as much as possible and it's kind of like in those big bedrooms like that I almost wish we had different size beds as far as like there's a difference between a full a queen and a king because I just felt like maybe the bed on that one wall just wasn't enough space. But I didn't want to add like a plant or something or a picture on each corner. Because like I said, it just can look too busy. But <clears throat> here is their bathroom suite. Once again, I use the little stool and the little plant. But I think their bathroom turned out really cute. And the bathroom does have a door that leads out onto the balcony. But here is the girls room. 
like I said, they share rooms. So I tried to obviously give Jade a little bit of maturity on her side of the room. But also wanted to keep it more like kid-like for Emerald. And then obviously Jade still has some of her stuff from when she was a child. But <clears throat> I was going to use two different beds. But I decided to use the same beds because it just kind of like looked better. But I just used different color swatches. So obviously I gave Jade the white bed. And then I imagine that Emerald has the little blue bed with the cats on it. And I gave them this little... What is that? It came with laundry room, but I like the little, I like the little uh, baskets underneath it, kind of like for storage. And then I don't imagine that's like a towel, but maybe like pillows or blankets or something. And yeah, I just try to clutter that up and make it look really nice. But yeah, I think their room turned out really cute. And um, yeah, I, I just don't think it'd be the same if I would have made it separate and gave them separate bedrooms. I just, I never have sim siblings share rooms most of the time because I usually play in big family homes where the kids don't have to share a bedroom. So I think it's cool and different when I do actually have a build or something where the kids do have to share a room. It's pretty cool, but Anyways, over here, their desk area, I did give them the bookshelf with a little desk in front, which I do that all the time in all of my children's rooms builds because I just think it's so cute. But I did give them the two separate desks so they could both sit at it. Um, so, obviously, one side is going to be for Emerald and one side is going to be for Jade. And I gave <coughs> Jade... Kind of like an area where she has like a couch and a place to kind of like lounge, listen to music, read, write in her diary, all that teenage stuff. But then over here in the corner, I did want to make it enjoyable for Emerald too, being a child. So I gave her, um, you know, a little toy house and the little, this is why I can't explain the build. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. What am I trying to say? The little <laughs> table where they can draw. And yeah, I just tried to like clutter that up. And I did give her the scouts board. Because her family is so like eco-friendly. I imagine that she would be into scouts. That would be like a cool after school activity for her. So I put that over there on her side of the desk. But other than that, I think I added like some trophies over there on Jade's side because she is very athletic. I imagine that, you know, she is probably like on the soccer team, baseball team, something very sporty at her school. And she's very fit and into, you know, playing sports and all that. And here is their bathroom upstairs that they share, which, you know, pretty much looks like the other bathrooms, except I did give them a different wallpaper color. I gave them yellow. I did it a little bit different and yeah, it's cute. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just realized I didn't, did I? No, I put the clutter items on the cabinets up there, but I didn't adjust them. Like, I didn't put them in the right spot. So, I'm going to have to do that before I upload it to the gallery. But, oops. <laughs> Anyways, upstairs in this little hallway landing area, which I save for last because it just gets so old. I hate doing little hallway landings. I did put the storage boxes up there so they can decorate their house. I put it over there in that corner. I do like to include those because I like to have my sims decorate their house for the holidays. And of course, here I am cluttering up this little table here. I use the same stuff over and over again, but whatever. And I do believe I gave them a bookshelf up there and like a little chair, but anyway, still turned out cute. I like this house. Love this family. This build is wrapping up. So, if you made it, congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to download this family and their house, it is available for download on the gallery. So, all of that information, social media, origin is in the description box down below. And, like I said, anytime you download these families, they do include custom content, so make sure you include custom content in the little checkbox area. 
they're not going to have any clothes on them, but you can just give them a fresh new makeover. But they do have the current job, and they do have the current skills that they had in The Sims 3. Which, by the way, speaking of that, before I end this, Oliver, you know, he was in part-time produce at the grocery store. We don't have that in The Sims 4, so I ended up giving him the career... Um, <clears throat> in the gardening just because it felt like that would fit him the best so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later bye Send her my heart